Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another series of imperialism. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a season of imperialism, and you know, this is one of those games that uh, I think I always say this, right? It's a game that's just really spoke to me when I was a young a young kid playing these kinds of games. Turn-based strategy was kind of my kind of my thing. Uh, never really good at them, but still really enjoyed them. So, I don't really have, like, a challenge in mind. I don't really have any plans. Uh, Imperialism kind of plays, I, I like to think, like, fairly ad hoc. You can start with, like, the very best intentions in mind, but the game can kind of push you in a direction, and you have to be adaptable in order to make the best out of that situation, right? So, when it really comes down to it, like, when I play other, like, RTS games or something, it's like, okay, we're playing Command & Conquer General Zero Hour, if I get China, I'm going to build dragon tanks, and I'm going to attack right away. Or something. Like, I already have, like, a formulaic strategy in mind. Uh, imperialism is kind of weird in that... I, I, I want to say there's, like, a level of randomness, but I don't like to use the word random. Because randomness is never, like, truly random, right? So let's just go ahead and get started. I always like to play red under the Mega Cycle flag. Let's find a start where everyone has, like, an expansion. Oh my gosh, that would be... Pretty one-sided, I think. Uh, that's not bad. Also not terrible. I really wish I could customize a map and just... Oh! This is probably the lesser of the evils I'm ever going to get, right? So everyone has at least an expansion except Green. Who is Zim. No, I think Dark Blue is Zim. It's been a while since I played. I don't quite remember. Normal difficulty? Let's just do this thing. Boop. Like the port or whatever for my city. Let's see, we've got a fair amount of lumber. We've got a fair amount of potential minerals. Food looks okay as well. This is always kind of like one of the hardest parts of the game is how do we set up our primary facility, right? If I set up here, this is really bad on meat and there's no apples. So I'd have to branch down here fairly quickly to get some natural resources and foodstuffs, which wouldn't be hard. But the benefit of starting right here, three lumber right off the top. That's not an awful choice. Over here, three lumber again, plenty of grains and meat and fish. But the problem is no... No apples, no no fruit. I'd have to come over the mountain, which I can't when the game starts off. The technology is really, really low, so I'd have to ship it in. And one of the things that's dangerous about ships is your crap can get blockaded, and that's not great. I'm really, I'm really feeling... It would give me... Ugh. Yeah, I'm really feeling something in the north. If we come over here to the south, better foodstuff capability, but not really anything for materials, and I kind of want to jumpstart my materials early, early. That's kind of my thought. If I go here, there's the potential that I'll waste some squares, and it won't be... I won't get any of the materials out of here. Also, all this is blocked off. Uh, I'm not complaining about the start. I just have to figure out the best place to start. If I start in the south, I have to go all the way to the north to get any proper lumber. Lumber might be a big problem for me. Uh, I think I'm going to start here. Get a depot here on the cotton. Then another depot over here, which would get me some minerals. Hopefully. And more fruit. It's like we're going to be into textiles a bunch. And, you know, let's just roll the dice. Let's just see what happens. Here looks good. Upheaval in the governmental ministries. New ruler proclaimed. Coronation ceremonies held today at the capital mark the beginning of a new reign. A speech following the ceremony under the opulent capital dome. Our new monarch stated, I undertake my new duties with both optimism and a strong sense of responsibility. Our great power will continue to expand under the well-known principle that might makes right. Interesting initial statements. Let's go ahead and get exploring immediately. 
Let's see, down and over? Over? I guess it does not matter to me in the slightest. I gotta get to places on the ASAP. Now, the only thing that might be a little buggy is I almost want to set up a uh, depot here to tap these minerals. If that's a thing, because I can't build... I can't build in hills. At all. Not not for the first few turns anyway. Ah, oh, so painful. I don't know what I want to do. Just do it. Just do it. Alright, fortify. Shipping routes. Okay, we got a good couple of cars. Uh, I'll go to Diplomacy first. Dark blue is Zim. Green is Ordoon. So, what I always like to do is 5% for everybody. Uh, this is probably a really risky maneuver, but the reality of the situation is, is I want everyone to be on my side ASAP. I am looking for exports of iron and coal. Cathay is my choice. I would like to... Do these guys... Does Manx not have any trade policies? No major exports? That's new. Bram is a good choice. Kessel. Eidolon is a good choice. Urshan, a good choice. Well, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so Cathay. Cathay and Pram are, I think, the two I really want to sweet talk. That's already going to be a thousand bucks already down the drain. We've already given everyone their 5%. I think that's good. So we start off with the minor nations with what's called a trade consulate, which kind of allows us to get direct... Actually, where's the help? Uh, let's get the actual verbiage. It's been a while since I've played. Uh, diplomacy. Trade consulate effectively allows me first take on product from a minor nation. Diplomatic orders. Oh, but I can see legitimately what trade consulate did. If there's anything I was missing. Real quick here. Next briefing. Previous briefing. Oh, trade consulates. Okay. 500 bucks. Essential benefits for the price. Right to set trade policies. Right. And encourage trade. So I'll give the minor nations a 5% trade policy. Or a uh, subsidy. Uh, each complete trade deal. Oh yeah, improvement. Oh, right. So without a trade consulate, the relations don't go anywhere. Uh, allows an embassy. Yeah, okay. So I need a trade consulate so I can start getting people to like me. Um, I guess sometimes I go for two, sometimes I go for three. Uh, Hershen was another really good choice, I believe, because they also did coal and iron. Lumber is not really my chief concern at the moment. I want to pick any nation that has wood, coal, and iron in a row. Because that makes this a lot easier. Because I'm always going to be bidding on those products. Um, let's see here. I'll concentrate on Pram and Cathay. I think that's a fair choice. Now, time for industry. I'm going to be very much working on lumber. I'm getting my lumber mill online right away. What other products can I start working on? Uh, to be absolutely honest, I want to start bartering in iron and coal immediately so I can start working on my steel empire. That getting kicked off as early as possible, I feel, is critical in the game. The thing that really absolutely sucks about it is you can get blocked off very, very quickly in the early to mid game if you don't have a reliable amount of steel. Uh, the whole game runs on steel. Absolutely everything requires some level of steel. Uh, either steel directly or to guns or hardware. Actually, hardware is just a trade good. I take that back. Um, but everything kind of requires some sort of steel. More advanced ships like the ironclads, I believe, require coal as fuel. So, I mean, everything is, like, right here. This is the crux of the entire game, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not going to build my... Uh, textile mill nor clothing factory because I don't believe there's a point to it. Uh, the, the application I'm using, just as a forewarning, you might see some artifacting on the screen. Yeah, like this. You might see a little bit of artifacting as we're playing the game. 
there's not much I can do about that. To get this game to run into windowed mode, it took a lot of jiggery pokery nonsense. So this is kind of what I got. Um, I would like a larger workforce. I have some papes, some papers. I will need a miner. And I will need skilled work to replace what I just spent for the miner. Now, in terms of leftover uh, production, uh, let's get some rail cars. Just two. That'll be fine. Uh, now, for trade. I would like to bid on coal and iron. Uh, I think that's good. Actually, can I build a boat? Uh, I could do two India men. India man. India mans. India mans? Is the plural of India man India men? I don't. I'm not nautical. I have no idea. Uh, that will turn my... What do I have now? Four? My merchant marine from four to twelve. I think that's reasonable. No one was offering. Okay, that's fine. I went on a consulate spree. I sure did, friend. I sure did. Just pop a squat right there. We have all the transit in play. Uh, let's go to our diplomacy orders. I want to give a 5% trade subsidy to Pam and Cathay. Pram. Pram. Pram and Cathay. Giving them a bigger reason to invest in Megacycle. No reason not to invest with the best. And the best is Megacycle. We actually have some timber coming in right away, which is good. I can actually start cranking out chairs every other turn. Which is pretty sweet. Uh, I'm good on industry right now. I'm not hurting for a ton of industry. I'm debating another engineer. Farmer, not so critical. Another engineer, pretty critical. I have $5,000. This will be another $2,000, and then I'll be really hamstrung for stuff. Let's go for it. Let's just absolutely go for it. Uh, I would like to bid on paper because I'm going to be making chairs. Uh, I don't need steel right now. I will take four paper. Thank you. Let's go right back to this and shut that off. $2,000. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. Okay, we can still keep building our rail network. I need you to sleep. We can still keep moving on with some of our... Uh, I can still keep building the network. The rail network is cheap. I think it's $100 per thing. Um, I want the second one. Okay, so I want one here. I want one here. So I'm going to move him there. Railroad up. Build the thing, railroad down, railroad up. I want to connect our towns as quickly as I possibly can as well. That's going to be incredibly helpful. I have no new diplomacy orders. We good. Yes, thank you. Excellent. Sold some stuff. The great power of Deneb has become the most favorite trade partner with the minor nation of Cathay. Okay. What else does Cathay do? Nothing, right? Uh, gosh. Trying to get used to all the buttons. And I'm bidding on that stuff. 10%. Okay. Pram is favorited by Hexaco. There. Let's see if that does any better. Okay. Make the depot. Make the depot. This is going to be great. We're going to get a lot of good stuff. Uh, let's see. I have plenty of industry that I could spend my turn on. Uh, I don't think it's worthwhile to upgrade that right now. Uh, how much... I have nine transit network to be spent. Oh, let's start working on chairs. Let's upgrade that. Uh, are there any other products, goods, or services that I can start monopolizing on? My gosh, I'll never remember all the buttons. Lumber straight up. Let's put in an order for lumber straight up. Oh. People of Megacycle have bigger brains. Confirmed. 
Confirmed. This isn't looking good from a mineral perspective. Uh, hi. Aw. Hi. Aw. <laughs> uh, what do I need to upgrade this to? Let's take out one furniture this turn so I can upgrade my lumber bill. Uh, let's start making steel. Yeah, absolute. Gotta start cranking on the steel. Absolutely, positively. Uh, we could also start moving on some arms, they're called. Arms. They're just military gear, effectively. Uh, that way, what I can do is I can start concentrating on... I could just sell that stuff. I could just sell it for a little more cash to keep the industry going. Uh, that's good enough. Come on, there's gotta be some minerals around here, bro. This is weak. Whack. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, okay. Resume our furniture making. Now what I need to do is I need to start investing in... Oopsie daisy. In cloth. I do need to start doing this so I can start turning cloth into shirts. So I can start rebolstering up the industrial sector. Seven. Yes, I will take that. That's going to keep me busy for a very long time. Coal. Amaze balls. You go there, you go there. Pick up, stupid. Two, three, and five. Cool, I can start stocking up horses and selling them as well. Um, at this very moment, I need the money. So we are going to continue to produce, and we can't produce. Wrap a wrap. Uh, let's see here. What can I do for some cash? The initial game is really, really heavy on money. Uh, purchasing that second engineer cost me 2000 which I don't know if that's ever a bad or a good choice, but I always do it. Dredge, Pram, Eidolon, Kessel. Sold some stuff. Although no one starved. Yes, I'm very sure infrastructure, from a food perspective, could use some fine-tuning. I would like to build another depot right below Narvik. And that connects up. We already established all that. Uh, sell that. Purchase food. I don't really have like a good balanced diet right now, which is kind of suck. But this actually gives me an opportunity because one basic untrained worker was sick. And I need two labor to really accomplish anything. The other one I can train up to the next level. This is actually a little bit of a blessing in disguise, I suppose. Yes. Give me all the stuff. And we still made a nice profit out of the deal. Excellent stuff. You are going to go there. And let's work our transportation network real quick. Oh, it's wheat I'm low on. It's grain. It isn't fruit or vegetables at all. Uh, I need one meats, two fruit, four grain. Okay, so I should really be concentrating where I can get more grain. Uh, I will build another depot, I think, here. And here. Let's go here and build the next depot. Uh, what I do need to concentrate on right now is my transportation network. So pull that off. Uh, I do have some money. Uh, one, two... Start, start leveling up our workforce, so that way I don't have to hire so many people, I can just make the people that I have better. Uh, next turn, I should be able to really monopolize on lumber and steel production and all these good things, but I just can't right now. Yes, 11 units, okay. I didn't sell a darn thing, and my transportation network, my merchant marine was just straight up full. Uh, sell the guns. So you are going to go... This way. You're going to build a thing. You can't. Just spend your turn and do a thing. Cool. So now I'm, I'm being self-sufficient on coal. Uh, that's crazy good. Like, even producing a little bit of steel is awesome. It's way better than producing Leno steel right okay so that kicks off our 
production pretty hard into furniture. Um, actually... Uh, yes, I want more money. We're selling furniture, we're selling arms... Everything else looks good. Good. I will purchase your paper. And I'm low on money, that's not great. That's fine. I would also like to start selling horses. Uh, we're a little early in the technology of things for us to be really buggered about horses. But, I would like to have them at the ready. Uh, I want you to sit right there until we're ready to build another depot. How are we looking on production and monies? I probably can't train workers, can I? Oh, cool. Yeah, let's get some more workers trained up. Uh, I'm out of industry, but I have some crap to sell. Let's poke on that for a bit. Ooh, sold some stuff. Awesome. Uh, I will buy it. I will buy it. Thank you very much. Cool. Uh, you, my good sir, are just going to keep on keeping on. Your Excellency, the great power of Patagon is a textile industry with a capacity more than double ours. I don't have a textile industry. So, they're twice zero. And if they're twice zero, that's zero. So, that's funny. <clears throat> Quiet. Uh, let's see here. I'm low on cash. Let's just make shirts and guns and chairs. I don't want coal anymore right now. Thank you. I would rather purchase iron if we can. Okay. Here's something that I'm noticing a bit of a trend of already. It is already going to be difficult for me to get any iron. <clears throat> Let's see here. I need one of this. I have 16 in the warehouse. Let's go to our diplomacy screen. Who else has the capability to sell me uh, iron? Nope. This button. Wood. No major exports. That is the we I've never seen that before. That is so weird. Uh, I'm already dealing with Pram. Issa. Eidolon was a good was a good choice. Trade consulate up in there. Uh, so iron seems to be the big driver here. Uh, oh, I need two of each. Get more steel. I don't have more lumber. Get more lumber. And hopefully we'll be able to be in a bit more money so I'll have a better opportunity to upgrade my industry. But for right now, this will just have to do. You heard that. That was three cats dashing down a hallway. And now they're just staring at each other something stupid because they're embarrassed that they did that. Either way, hot diggity daffodil iron. Good stuff. Freaking good stuff. Okay, sell, sell, sell. I need the cash, so we'll spend a little more time. Uh, I would like to buy more timber. Spend a turn or two working on our bank account. Then once we have a little bit banked up, then I'll start working on upgrading our industry. And all that fun stuff. Uh, oh, or anything else. 10% to idle on. Thank you. Awesome. Good amount of cash. Uh, let's start working down here. And let's see. That covers... I believe I wanted another depot right there. And I would definitely want another depot there. Okay. Now I have capability for... Uh, textiles. Steel industry, twice of ours! Grrr, rumble, 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 rumble. Um, I'd like to purchase some papers. I wasn't done in here. Let's get more... I can't get more steel. Uh, let's back off on the guns, because I do want to stockpile some steel. Um, let's do this. That seems like a good choice to me. That's done. Be up on that. 
Boom. Four papers. Build the furniture. Cool. All right. Epo. We didn't sell our gun from last time, so that's okay. Uh, now I can get my textile industry online. We're already maxed out on everything we could possibly produce except more steel. I don't have any steel on hand. Rats. Okay, we'll just have to wait till next turn. I can't produce food. I can't really do anything as all of my industry is tapped and maxed. Oh, that's a lie. Boop. <laughs> One transit. Transportation network is important that we stay above, uh, ahead as much as we possibly can. I did not mean to buy more paper. Unbid. Still bid that. Let's still bid that. Offer that. Uh, I could offer some coal easily. Very easily right now. We're sitting on quite a wellspring of goodness. Takes care of that. Um, let's see here. A little low on cash. Let's get textiles online. Steel is maxed out. Lumber, I already hit my limit. I already worked through absolutely everything that I already purchased. Uh, let's make food. Yep, I don't, I don't have anything else. I need to get out of the money gutter. Uh, this seems okay to me. Wait. Yes, okay. Whew. I read that wrong. I'm like, don't tell me I was offering iron. This completely defeats the purpose of literally everything. Evron short on steel. Oh my gosh. Coal Empire. Uh, what can I trim off kind of safely? Now I'm getting to the point where we are relatively self-sufficient on steel. Now, we're making our own iron and coal, which is phenomenal. That's great stuff. Really keeps us in the loop. I'm loving it. The only problem is, even though we're, self we're getting self-sufficient-ish, I still need to do more frequent trade deals to maintain my trade power with these other nations. Due to there... And what am I selling? Furniture, coal, horses. I knew horses really weren't going to be the big the big show. I refuse to sell steel. Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do some conquering to get that. Uh, throughout the game, you can't build in mountains at all. Uh, I believe. Actually, let's let's just keep doing this. Okay, I want to get all of my towns railroaded up. That's kind of my priority. This is kind of suck. I can't really do much there. Um, just trying to think out loud, I guess. Let's go. There's not really any products I need, and this guy's going to build through and down. Let's see here. Let's talk this out. So, what? A depot here? A depot here? A depot there for sure. Let's just keep moving on, working on what I know I need. Right? That all made sense? That was all words? Awesome. Uh, Level up? No. No. My economy is a little too fragile right now for me to keep peeling off workers, even though that would be the smart move. Uh, I need guns. I need stuff to sell. I need more money while I build out my infrastructure. Okay, that helped. Uh, cotton gin. Okay. Huh? Would I get anything here? I get... I would get wheat. Which I need anyway, but I'm out of money, so we're just going to continue. Cotton gin. Allow farmers. I don't have any farmers. I'm not worried about it right now. I opted for engineers over farmers, so we're just going to have to sit tight for a bit. Sell the guns. 
Uh, bid on coal, I guess. Sell my food. Sell five of it. Okay, what can I do? Transport. Simple, simple, simple question, simple answer. Okay, let's make some money. Uh, not bad. Keep her going. Not a whole much I can do about much right now. Uh, I really want more money. And I'm good on paper. Good on paper. Uh, is everyone working on... Oh, no furniture is being made. But we're making guns, so hooray. Finally. Oh, boy. Money, money, money. Okay, cool. Uh, you are going to continue up to Kara. That. Textile industry, more than twice of ours. Bra, bra, bra. I don't, I, I could not care less about that at this very moment and juncture in time. Thank you for your concern. Also, shut up. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that. Cool. I want all the deals. I want all the deals. Continuously buying and selling stuff is what makes it work. Also, probably teamwork or something. I don't know. Just improve that while we got you busy. Cool. We're really, really adding up our industry right now, which I'm really happy about. Uh, stop offering food. I need food. Uh, there's no real products that we're sitting on a ton of. So we're just going to have to sit and chill and wait and chill. Good. Plenty of cash. Steel shortages. Plague. Industrialized nations. Bra, 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 bra. That's going to be a thing for a very, 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 very rest of the game level long time. Okay. I would like to get my transportation network a little bit more up to snuff. Uh, I would like to purchase paper. That stuff we can sell. Very good. Um, what else? Else, what else, what else? I always, in these turn-based games, I always try to min-max what I can do. So every action you take has a cost, and as the game progresses, certain actions either cost more or less, depending on decisions you made earlier. What I like to do, and this is, this kind of is, you know, a little weird and boring to watch, maybe, is I always like to make sure that everything I'm doing is making sense. Uh, I need more timber. Wait, how much timber do I have? 17, yeah, okay. Uh, good. Build one arms, awesome. New technologies are- yeah, I don't care about the cotton gin, dude. I don't- I don't care about that right now, thank you very much. Uh... This seems like a better call... Because when I was up there, I only got three wheat. Now I'll get four, or grains, whatever. And one there as well. Okay, one, two, three. And four. Okay, now I've got a pretty significant workforce just chilling. So let's maximize our lumber. And let's maximize our transportation network because I've been borrowing transit from all my foodstuffs to try to really get an edge on what's going on here. Uh, I would like more paper. I would like two more paper. And give me everything else. I don't think there's anything else for you to level up at this time. Please just chill out up there. Okay, we need one meat. 
We need two fruit. We need four grain. Uh, I don't have any fruit in the warehouse, so that gets the next bump. Two more cars. Awesome. Don't need more papes. What I do need, though, are shirts. Mexico seeks to enter an alliance with our great empire. Uh, this is the hardest part of the game. To be absolutely honest, this is the hardest part of the game because every alliance can be a deal breaker for someone or something else. Like, this could be ridiculously good or ridiculously bad. Uh, I'm okay right now. Reject. Okay, for the rest of the food, let's put two on that. Okay, so I'm making one extra foodstuffs per turn. I like that very much. So, upgrade that. Sufficient material. Did I already spend all my stuff? I kind of did. Upgrade this. And I would very much hope that we could get... Oh, I'm out of lumber. Oh, right, all that upgrading I just did. Right, 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 right. I remember. I remember. Okay. Uh, is there nothing else I can do? Am I seriously going to end this turn with four labor not doing a darn? Arr. Labor not doing a darn. Oh, well, that helped. Okay. I need paper. I'll offer guns and shirts. Guns and shirts. Boom. Oh, now we got more stuff. Uh, let's peel back a fruit on that. Yeah, that, that really, really, really increased my grain. So even though we're not bringing back any cool products, that still really helped. So let's see here. I want another one there. Connect that. Most excellent. Uh, I probably should have chucked an engineer here and just immediately went fish and started off with a better lumber industry. But, I'm, I, you know, I'm pretty happy with my choices. I'm pretty happy. Uh, let's see here. For doing that. Uh, I'm going to peel this back by one so I can upgrade that. Uh, yes, upgrade that. Uh, I actually have enough workforce for one more there. And make my own food. Food is pretty critical considering you can store it at your main capital. And if you get cut off anywhere and you start losing supply, you'll always have food. Deneb. You already have an alliance with anyone. You don't. Patagon forms alliance with Zim. Not the worst thing that could have happened, but we'll have to keep an eye out for all of that. Uh, I would like you to do exactly what I said a moment ago. Uh, hey. Um. No, as you were. That's fine. Uh, I would like you to go... Like here? Because if I build a depot here, then I can't build one here. If you see my predicament. Let's go here just to be safe. I'll build a port. It'll be great. It'll be great. Okay. Uh, we're actually getting to the limits of our industrial capacity, which is nice. Also not nice. So let's hire some new folk. Make more gun. And we're already tapped out. Rats! <laughs> rats, rats, rats. Offer that. Offer that. Keep bidding. Patagon. Zim just formed an alliance with Patagon. I think this would be fortuitous if I accept this alliance from Patagon. Which also puts me in an alliance with Zim. Diplomacy. 
Oh, actually, it doesn't put me in an alliance with Zim. That's right. I keep forgetting alliances are one way. This isn't like a federation in Stellaris. Uh, you can just sleep for a minute. Uh, the idea behind a two-way or a one-way alliance is... Let's go back to the alliance screen. So, I have an alliance with Patagon because Patagon proposed an alliance to me. I accepted the alliance. Patagon is also in an alliance with Zim. But, since it's a one-way alliance, Zim is not allied to me. So to ensure that we have a good, firm alliance, I want to make sure that Zim is also in this alliance. Otherwise, you have all these really, really weird one-way treaties. And I don't know what else to say about it. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's, that's all I have to say about it. It's just interesting. Uh, because it's not necessarily true that your allies' allies are your allies. Or Dune seeks an alliance. Reject. Mexico seeks an alliance. Reject. I want Zim to be my ally. No alliance with Zim. Well, butternut squash. An army more than twice as strong as ours. Yeah, the end. The the AI loves to ramp up really hard in that regard. Okay, so I'm beefing up my industry. Happy about that. Get some more food. I always want plenty of food on the table. Uh, good, good. We're making shirts as quickly as we can. We're already, here we go, burning through our, oh, actually, you know what? Instead of more uh, furniture, I need more transit. Offer, that's all fine. Okay, so. If Zim won't be part of my alliance, I'll see if I can solidify elsewhere. Oh. Nobody wants to be my ally. You were all about it literally a turn ago, but okay. Uh, superior feeding grasses. Rancher to improve wolf farms. I'm not there yet. Okay. There's the fruit I needed. I knew we were going to be low on stuff soonish. Uh, I don't have any papers. Let's really double down on our transit network. Pick up some papes. Sell that. Zim wished to answer... Yes! <laughs> You're the one I wanted to ally with in the first place, you dingle. <laughs> okay. I need two, there's three. I need three, there's four. I need five, there's six. So it's one extra. How much is in the warehouse? Oh, I'm not great on warehouse. Uh, I'm out of lumber. I'm out of a lot of materials already. Rough. Lots of gun. No one wants my guns. Already capped. Uh, I have 13 labor I don't know what to do with. I don't have any paper. How much wood do I have? I don't have any wood. I am bidding. I am bidding all that. I'm going to offer the coal back into the pool. So again, I want frequent trade deals. That's that's my MO. Thank you for the papes. Thank you for the timber. Build six arms. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Railroad through swamps, frontier to improve timber. Excellent sauce. Hey, wake up. Yeah, wake up. Port. And we've got some more stuff coming in. I g oh, it was just more wheat and fruit and crap. Okay. Uh, um... I can build through swamps now, but I can't build through anything else. Uh, this would only get me more foodstuffs. I don't care about that. Let's build another... Uh, actually, hold on. Stop. Build a depot. I want to build the port here. Because this would already connect to my 
my main my main city. That would be a lot less of a waste. You could just sleep. Yeah, I don't I don't really have a navy. I don't believe in it. Uh, no, I, I I need a navy. Uh, let's see. I would love a farmer. Get that going on. Get that go in. Oh, going out. Get it going. Oh, ow. I get it going. Ow, ow. I'm just in a weird mood. I, I I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. I guess maybe. <laughs> okay, we're gonna clean up this turn and then I'm going to take a break. We are 45 minutes into our quest for world domination. Or if this all ends very poorly, probably our quest for world damnation. Pick a pick. Zim and Patagon, my allies, will take an additional 5%. Subsidy. Uh, save. Game. I've been playing a bit. JMEGS the third. Save game. Cool. Well, thank you all for joining me. Name's John Megacycle. Another series of imperialism kicking off. And yeah, thanks again for joining me, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.